I'm gonna show you how to set up authorization on your Superbase real-time broadcast and presence feature. Well, that was a lot, but basically it means I'm gonna walk you through how to project your data when using broadcast and presence. Just to recap, broadcast is a feature to send rapid ephemeral messages to other connected clients, and you can for example use it to share cursor positions. Or in this whiteboard app example, not just cursor positions, but also to share the whole canvas in real time. Presence is, well, presence, so we can keep track of who's online in real time. Now on the left, I'm signed in as myself, and on the right, I'm signed in as John. John has not been invited to my project yet, but as we saw earlier, he's able to view and draw on the canvas, which is a huge problem. So let's implement authorization so that only invited users are able to view and modify our whiteboarding app data. There are two steps into implementing authorization using broadcast and presence. One, opt into using private channels on the client. And two, set up role-level security policies. Opting into private channels is just a matter of setting the private option to true when creating a channel. And that's it. This app is a Flutter app, but here's what it would look like in JavaScript. Now on to setting up role-level security policies. Jump into the Superbase dashboard and go to real-time policies. Here, we can set up role-level security policies for the messages table in the real-time schema. Policies set on this table will be respected when sending or receiving broadcast and presence messages on the private channel. There are a few helper functions and columns provided by Superbase to construct the role-level security policies. Realtime.topic will return the topic of the channel, which is the string that you provide when creating a channel. And realtime.messages.extension will contain either the text broadcast or presence, allowing us to restrict the usage of the service. So for example, this select policy allows reads of broadcast messages on channels with a topic of channel name. And since this one is an insert policy, it allows broadcast messages to be sent to channels with a topic of channel name. For our whiteboard app, we want to allow users to send and receive both broadcast and presence messages if they are project members. So we can get started with giving it a policy name and start creating the policy. I created a convenient Postgres function, isProjectMember, which pulls in the project member information from a database and returns true or false depending on whether they are a member. Let me quickly show our table structure. So if we go to Table Editor, we have a Profiles table which contains all the users in this app. And then we have Project Members and Projects table. So Projects table contains every single project that are created in this whiteboard app. And then Project Members table contains which user is assigned to which project. Basically, the isProjectMember function is pulling information from these tables and checking whether a user is assigned to a certain project. Now going back to the policies for real-time authorization, go to Create Policy and we can give it a name. Users can view projects if they are a member and we can call the isProjectMember function pass the realtime.topic function, and we can hit save. We can also create a similar insert policy. So select insert, give it another name. Users can insert if they are a member. And the definition is actually the same. So is project member and passing the realtime.topic function. Hit save and we should be good to go. Awesome. So at this point, our authorization settings is complete. So let's go back to our whiteboard app and see what happens. Let's give it a refresh. And we notice that John's having some trouble connecting. If I draw something over here, John's obviously not receiving that message. And John's also not able to view that I'm online. Now, if I add John as a member, so John Myers IO, an invite. Let's give it a refresh just in case. And right off the bat, you're able to see my cursor on John's end and John is able to send his cursor position as well. I can draw something and John receives the same thing. Our whiteboarding app is complete with authorization. So that's how you can secure your real-time channels using Rovo Security. You can learn more about what we talked about today in the official docs in the description below. Now that we can use role-level security to secure our channel, let's go deeper into what exactly role-level securities are. But for that, you can watch this video right here. 
I'll see you around in another video. Bye.